Hello lovelies! All week long I am sharing Thanksgiving classics that you and your family will love. Today I am sharing my classic stuffing recipe. I live for stuffing. I love stuffing. It's actually by far my favorite part of Thanksgiving. Now, we should just clear this up right now because I know it's going to end up in the comments section inevitably anyways. Stuffing that is not stuffed into a bird is actually called dressing. So from a technical perspective, this is actually my classic dressing recipe, but I prefer to call it stuffing because that's what I've always called it. Now that we've got that cleared up, we're gonna get started with some really great bread. In this case, I'm using a crusty French loaf and I'm just going to use a sharp serrated knife to cut it into half inch cubes. I'm going to spread all of those cubes out on a baking sheet to help it dry out. Now the drier your bread is, the more delicious your stuffing will inevitably be. I know that sounds a little counterintuitive, but the fact is that dry bread actually absorbs yummy flavors a lot better than moist bread. So you have two options for drying out your bread. One is to do this process the night before and let it dry out in an oven that is off where there's very little humidity overnight. Or if you are pressed for time, you can also go ahead and pop it in your oven at 200 degrees Fahrenheit for about an hour or so. You just wanna shake it around every 15 minutes so it dries out evenly and keep a good eye on it. You're not trying to toast it, you just want it to dry out. All right. So now that we've taken care of drying out our bread, it is time to get to work on all of the flavors of this stuffing. This all starts by chopping up some onion and some celery. I love both of these things more than you can possibly imagine. Then I'm going to melt some butter on the stove. And when I say some butter, I mean a lot of butter because one of the most delicious parts of stuffing is that it actually is drenched in butter. Don't be afraid. Thanksgiving calories don't count. At least not at my house. Once that butter is nice and melted and heated up, it's time to add my onion and celery. I'm going to cook that for four or five minutes or until it gets nice and soft and those onions become translucent. Then it's time to add some yummy fresh herbs. In this case, I'm using some sage, some thyme leaves, and some parsley. And then we're going to add some broth. In this case, I'm using vegetable broth, but you could also do this with chicken broth except that it would be really nice for all your vegetarian friends to be able to enjoy the stuffing because stuffing is the best part of Thanksgiving, even for vegetarians. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Use some vegetable broth. Be kind to your vegetarian friends. Once it has reached a simmer, we're going to turn the heat off on our stove and add in our bread. We're just gonna give this a good stir until all of those breadcrumbs are soaked with all of that yumminess. Then we are going to finish this off by mixing in two beaten eggs. Once all of that is mixed up, we are going to pour this mixture into a well-greased baking dish, and then we are going to pop it in the oven covered in foil for about 30 minutes or so, or just until it's heated through. For the last 15 minutes of cooking, we are going to remove that foil to make sure the top gets nice and crispy. And that's it, stuffing made easy. I hope you'll give this awesomeness a try, and if you do, you must tweet me, Instagram me, or Snapchat me a photo, because of course I love seeing your creations. If you're looking for more great advice on how to orchestrate the perfect Thanksgiving dinner so that everything is scheduled down to the minute, you should check out my Thanksgiving dinner countdown. It is super, super helpful. You should also check out all of the rest of the yummy videos in this playlist. They're all classic and easy and foolproof and delicious. And most importantly, you should subscribe because there is lots more Thanksgiving yumminess where this came from.